Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Aaron Housingay. And I'm Skylar Zimney. And I've been so stressed this week with my teachers cramming in tests before spring break. Well, good for you. Coming up on today's show, we have information on how you can't de-stress. And we tell you about the right club to join. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Back to Geneva, and here are your morning announcements for Thursday, March 23rd, 2017. The Viking Review, the annual GHS Spring Variety Show, is coming up soon. It will be returning the week after spring break. Auditions are open to all students and all types of acts. Please see Mrs. Curtis in the choir room for audition information and audition time. Plan to see her prior to spring break. Since GHS is celebrating all things German this week, we have another German fact of the day. Given their close relation, German and English share more than half of their vocabulary. So if you already know English, then you're already halfway to speaking German. German Club wants to thank everyone who purchased pretzels this morning. They will continue selling throughout the day. Today, outside of room J240 during passing periods, pretzels are $1.50 each, and with cheese is $2.00. And attention all current National Honor Society members, please stop by KK268 before school or between periods for information on the spring service opportunities and hours. You have to sign up on this attendance sheet by tomorrow. And now for some news outside the halls. At least 10 homes in Florida were destroyed in a wildfire caused by a man who was burning books Wednesday. There are only a few minor injuries to emergency personnel that had been reported. Thursday morning, 65% of the wildfire was contained and was no longer spreading. An iguana briefly brought a halt to a men's singles match at the Miami Open yesterday. Officials eventually managed to throw a towel over the iguana and carry it from the court, but not before it climbed up on the second scoreboard on the, on the opposite baseline. Coming up after the break, we have information on the best way to de-stress. And how you can visit colleges for only $3. Stay tuned. An immersive experience. Today is the last chance to email Mr. Whitman to compete in the next Wright Club event at the Playhouse 38 Theater. If you are up to the challenge of throwing down some literary fisticuffs and spelling smackdowns on Friday night, April 7th, then email Mr. Whitman ASAP today. For all sophomores and juniors, the Counseling Department is hosting two college field, field trips in April, Wabonsi Community College, Sugar Grove Campus on April 13th, or University of Illinois at Chicago and Elmhurst College on April 19th. Sign-ups are in the Counseling Office for $3. As high schoolers, it is easy to get super stressed out because of homework, tests, and various extracurricular activities. And the faculty at GHS want to help you manage the stress. One yoga teacher and the GHS counselors are beginning a three-week yoga class focused specifically on distressing and calming your mind. The class will meet after school on Tuesdays in April. Stop by the counseling office to sign up and get more information. And now here's through the note before we go. Email Mr. Woman today if you want to participate in the next Wright Club event. The deadline for the Northwestern Medicine Scholarship is tomorrow. And today is the last day of the Math Tour Lab before spring break. Well, Geneva, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Skylar Zimney. And I'm Aaron Housegate. Have a wonderful day, Geneva.